Toxic Soul back with yet another video. This is my first video in around 50 days. Um, school's officially out. This video is going live on the day of my 8th grade graduation, so I'm super excited. This is going to be a recap of every shoe that I've bought in the past 50 days that you guys have not seen on camera. Um, I decided to put a hat on again for this video. I wasn't going to wear a hat, but without it, I kind of look like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. So, I'm just going to keep the hat on, and we're going to go over some of the pairs that I've bought. Um, some pairs, almost every pair that I'm going to show you has not been on video. That is the point right now. So, um, I caught, I just bought some of these pairs at the Just Nice Sneaker Convention on Sunday. Um, I'll put the date up. I forget what the date was. Uh, it was the 14th. Um, or 13th. One of the two. I'll correct myself up here. Um, I went there. I bought some fire shoes. One of the shoes I will not be showing on camera because it did come out that it is fake. So, um, I'm not going to expose the person who I bought it from because I'm going to be going and meeting up with this dude. I'm going to be getting a refund. Uh, so thank you to the person who sold me that shoe for hooking me up and giving me a refund. But, uh, alright, let's get right into this video. First shoe, we'll start off with a shoe that is not a collab. These are the, uh, well, not hyped. These are the We Are Underdogs and Dream Crew Episode 1s. These are made by Kais Omar, of course, another shoe YouTuber on the platform. A very big shoe YouTuber. Um, this was a shoe I was able to get. I really wanted it just to show the support. I've been trying to get a Seth Fowler shoe since he's from Philly. Um, you know, I think it's really good to show support to the shoe community. Um, just because a lot of it's really hard to make it in the shoe game, in the YouTube shoe community. And if you make it and you have your own shoe, that is, you've officially made it. So I just figured I'd support my boy Kais. And definitely buy a pair of these. These are insane quality. I don't wear them that much just because I don't really want to destroy them. But I do wear them out to some more formal dinners and stuff like that. Because they are definitely a more elegant and formal vibe of a shoe. But that was the first one. Secondly, we have a shoe I got at Just Nice Sneaker Convention. These are the Hawaii Nike Dunk Highs. Um, this is a shoe that tears away. The whole upper tears away. I'll post photos up here of what they look like torn away. I believe in here is orange, and here is around this like green, like almost looks like grass. Um, they really kill it with this shoe. Shoe's great. It has a stash pocket on the tongue. Comes with orange and green laces. These are really these are dope. I can't wait to wear these. I definitely want to go on vacation um, sometime soon and throw these on. I think these would be a dope shoe to wear with like a like flannel like or like flower top shirt like hawaiian shirt definitely get those vibes in this was a great shoe happy i could get this i got this for a really good price as well so thank you for hooking me up with that shoe then <clears throat> excuse me i bought a beater shoe these are the yeezy 350 pirate blacks i forget the original release date on these i believe i can't even see it on here it's so worn off but this pair is beat and it's so beat that like i mean look at the outsole destroyed it's ripping the outsole i got these for a steal of a price <clears throat> they are beat though i do really like these just as like a, a wear shoe these are my personal size and they fit like a size 13 now they're massive they're so worn down on the insides so um i might have to double sock them or like add an extra insole because they do run really big but i mean these things are dope i was happy to get an all black easy in my collection that I'm actually not like going to be afraid to wear. The only pair I have is my Bread 350s. And I don't wear them that much. I've only worn them once. I clean them up and they still look dead stock. So I just wrap them. Because I don't wear them. Uh, I definitely need to get into wearing them. But this pair is a dope pair. Great steal. So thank you to the person who sold me those. Then we have one of the newer releases I was able to get. Also from the Just Nice Sneaker Convention, I was able to pick up a size 12 men's, so one size too big. I was able to get the Amal Manier Jordan 3s. These things are insane. Great quality shoe. I really like them. Uh, I've only ever had two Jordan 3s. These and then the Jordan 3 Unites, which I just sold. But this pair, definitely if I can find them my size, I would like to wear. Um... But, I mean, like, they're such good quality. They have, like, this nice sock liner. Um, the suede, the hairy suede. Cream laces. 
you know, I love I love cream laces. I'm like kind of like Kais, but I mean these are insane. So, I'm on Manier and Jordan and Jordan brand. You guys killed this shoe. This sneaker convention was really fun. I was able to get some really hype pairs alongside. Um, <clears throat> this pair, I did buy these used, but um, I actually traded for these. I traded two pairs of my shoes for a size 10 off-white Presto that I then traded for a size 11 off-white Presto. I really like the Prestos. I've only ever owned two Prestos, one being the off-whites. Um... They're comfortable. I personally love Prestos, so to have my personal size in an off-white Presto to wear that use, so I won't be afraid to beat them. Definitely, definitely happy to get this shoe. I'll definitely wear this a lot. Might even wear this um, after graduation tomorrow. But uh, you'll see the shoe I'm wearing to graduation. It's a shoe I'm happy I was able to get. Did have to buy it off of my good friends at StockX. But you know gotta get your dream shoe somehow so this is not the dream shoe but i'll definitely wear this soon um let me go get the other pairs so they get three more pairs here and i still have other pairs i have to show you this one of a, is of course the nike air max one and clock collab i did do a review on the original colorway that video is doing great around 5,000 views so far so thank you to everybody who's watched that video but I was able to go pick up the second colorway, I believe these are called the Mochas, or Cocos, something like that. I was able to get them for retail off of my buddy, so thank you man. Um, I did go a half size down because my size 11 does run a little big, and these still run a little big for me, personally. I, that might not be for everybody, but I was definitely happy to pick up my size. I'll definitely, well, smaller. Um, hopefully there won't be a margin in the front, like a big gap. Maybe it'll look somewhat normal when I'm wearing them. I don't know. But these things are awesome. And they don't have the super uncomfortable ostrich leather, I believe it was. Like the other pair. This pair is more of just a soft leather. I really do like this pair. Then you have the Sakai LD Vapor Waffle. I don't know the full name for this shoe. But this thing is... This thing's a, it's a bulky boy. This is a big, big shoe. Um... I mean, uh, this thing doesn't even fit in my s sneaker containers, this thing's so big, but uh, this is a very, very comfortable shoe. I was able to wear this just around the house, just to see how they would feel, see how chunky they would feel, and man, they're comfortable. I really do like these. I would hope they'd be comfortable, considering they have an outsole, a midsole, a midsole, and a midsole. I would really hope they'd be comfortable, but you never know. Um... Nike, uh, you're out there, but you guys killed it with this shoe as well. Great shoe. Then we have a shoe I'm super surprised about. This is the Nike Dunk High Fragment Design Collab. A shoe I really like, but I'm super surprised tanked so, so much. Um, Dunks are pretty classic colorway, or pretty classic silhouette. I'm surprised that they tanked for as much as they did. The guy was saying 350 um, at the sneaker event, I could not do that. They're going for like 205 on StockX right now, so I did ask the dude to do 225. He did agree at the end of the event, so I was pretty happy to get this pair, even though I paid a little bit over market. It's still a pair I'll most likely wear, so I don't really mind paying over market for a pair I'm gonna wear. So these things are pretty dope. I really like these. The colorway's a little, a little weird, the purple and black, but I really like them. I'm definitely going to be putting up some videos of me at the Just Nice Sticker Convention in this video. Um, if you see them, I'm most likely going to be saying, yo, what's up, guys? Because I was going to plan on making it just a straight vlog from the, conven from the convention center, but I wasn't able to considering I had to sit at my table the whole time. But uh, let me go grab some more pairs to show you. I think we have around three more pairs. We have four pairs. Four more pairs that I bought that I've not showed you. Maybe five. So... Here we go. Alright guys, so <clears throat> we're on the final five pairs. We'll start with a new release. These are the Travis Scott Jordan 6s in the British khaki colorway. They do have the stash pockets. This one's pretty hard to open, the zipper one. Um, they glow in the dark, this back tab, this tongue, the tongue, 
this lace lock and the outsole do all glow in the dark. The orange laces were so hard to put on. It's the first time I ever laced up a Jordan 6. But I do really love this shoe. Travis, you killed this one. Then we have another shoe that I bought. These are the Tally and Adidas. This is a South Park collab. These shoes are insane. I'll get a close-up video of the tongue in a little bit. This tongue, when you flash a UV light on the eyes, the eyes turn red, make it look like the shoe is stoned. Incredible detail. I personally love South Park, so this shoe is a really cool shoe to have. Another shoe that's amazing. The final shoe from the Just Nice Sneaker Convention. This is a KD7, but it is a collab with the Villanova College. These things are insane. I was able to get these for a steal of a price, so shout out to the homie who sold me these. Big Villanova fan. These aren't my personal size. These are a size 13. But um, I would love to get these signed and just have these as a shoe. I'll hold on forever. But very cool shoe. Now the second to last shoe is a shoe I've had for a while. I just never showed it on camera, I don't believe. These are the Nike Dunk Low VX 1000s. As a beginning YouTuber, I loved to get these shoes because if I do good on YouTube, maybe I can have a career on here. I just got to keep posting. I can't be going on 50 day slumps. But um, I did shrink wrap this pair because I most likely won't wear these for a very long time. I'm going to let these sit on ice and um, let them look more beautiful every day. But uh, this pair was a definite cop. I had to get them. I shrink wrapped them. I did actually put the shrink wrap and with the StockX tag on the outside. So, yeah, I might have to un shrink wrap. I might have to cut the shrink wrap off. Move the StockX tag and then I'll redo it. But um, definitely a shoe I had to get. All right. And now on to the final shoe, the shoe I will be wearing tomorrow at my graduation from 8th grade. A shoe that I've wanted for so long. It is the Travis Scott Jordan 1s in the OG colorway. I did get the Travis Scott highs, not the lows. Um, I did try and get the lows, I just couldn't find anybody who had them. Um, and I didn't feel like buying it off of StockX. I was trying to buy this hand person in this shoe in hand finally I decided to pull the trigger I got a pair and sure enough the day they came in was the day I went to just a sneaker convention and as soon as I got there a guy walked in with a size 11 I don't know that's just my luck you know um, I, he was willing to trade those for the supreme dunks and I was gonna add a little bit of cash but considering I already had a pair I did back off definitely a shoe I was super happy to get though Still dead stock, have not wore them. I will be wearing them for the first time tomorrow. A shoe that I am officially no longer needing to buy. Now I will no longer have any more super big pairs that I will have to buy unless I miss out on them because they're coming up. Definitely the Travis Scott Fragments, but otherwise, a great shoe. Travis, you, you killed this. Best shoe ever. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to have to go edit this video for a while now. Um, I've been coughing a lot, I have a dry throat, I had been drinking like no water, so super happy with this, got a lot of new pairs, I have too many shoes now, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, if you're continuing to support, considering I haven't been posting for two months almost, thank you so much, you mean the world to me, uh, you have no clue how much I'm angry at myself for not posting, I will try and post as much as I can coming up in the future. Now that I have a summertime and three to the four months of no school, I'll try and get every shoe I can. I'll try and upload every video I can. If you want an in-depth review of any shoe you saw here, I will definitely try my best to put up a video of an in-depth review of that shoe. Um, otherwise, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for a thousand followers. I'm going to start shouting out my newest followers on here every video. Peace out, so strong. Yo, what's up guys, so the event just started. Uh, I've sold around 10 pairs by now, 10, 15 pairs so far. Doing pretty good, as you mentioned. It's going really good, I'm super excited. I'm gonna go around and buy some stuff in a little bit once I'm done selling my stuff, but otherwise, see you guys. Yo, what is up guys, Mystic Soul. It's been a while since I've posted. Uh, it's been around 50 days, uh, my bad. Right now, I'm at the Just Nice Sneaker Convention, selling my stuff, as you can see right here and behind me got a whole bunch of stuff um, super happy to be back doing some stuff 
just miss it. Uh, Hank the Tank was here. Definitely go follow him on Instagram. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, this is amazing. I got some of my grails in here to sell. I've already sold some good pairs. Um, and I've got some dope pairs back at the house that I'll be doing in a video a little bit later on. But otherwise, I'm so happy to be back in this. And I'll be getting some B-roll shots of just around this convention. Uh, first time since COVID started. It's a blessing to be back. I'll see you guys in the next clip. I do want to say thank you so much for sticking with me over the past two months that I have not posted. I'm sorry to everybody who wanted me to post videos. Now that it's summertime, I promise I will try and post as many videos as I can. Otherwise, peace out, Soul Squad.